elephants are becoming an increasingly rare part of American circuses. After years of controversy, the Ringling Brothers Barnum & Bailey Circus announced recently that elephants will no longer be part of their shows beginning with the 2018 season, thanks in large part to action taken last year by the Los Angeles City Council. Over the years, a number of animal rights organizations have documented animal abuse behind the big top at several circuses. You're watching relatively mild examples from our Fox 11 News archives. Much of it is too gruesome for broadcast. While we're at it today, we will visit Billy the Elephant at the Los Angeles Zoo for an update on how Billy and his female roommates are doing now that they have a $42 million new home and a Los Angeles judge's ruling that they must remain Angelinos. Good Sunday morning, everybody. Visiting us today, uh, a couple of fine Angelinos uh, in and of themselves. Madeline Bernstein, she's the president of the SPCA, the Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals Hi. in Los Angeles. Correct. And the Honorable Paul Koretz, he is the city council member representing the 5th District. Show us what you've got in your hand. Well, this is a bull hook, and this is what is used on elephants in the circus to train them and keep them in line. And if I may? So you've got this thing here which hurts, and you've got this thing here which pokes, and it hurts. Um, you were the one who made the move last year to ban these from Los Angeles. Well, the, the intention, uh, although it worked out better than we ever dreamed, was to eventually uh, get elephants out of the circus because they're, they're trained with implements like this. Um, it's, they have uh, very sensitive skin, and this is incredibly painful. Um, and uh, what helped to uh, to make this happen was a video that was sh that we were able to get that showed they not only were used to keep them in line when they were getting out of line, it showed a trainer going down a line of elephants that were standing obediently and just whacking them as hard as they could. And so clearly, it's not just when they need to; they use this to really hurt them and show them who's boss all the time. And as far as we can tell, and they agreed also, that without a bull hook, you couldn't have an elephant in the circus. And we, we listed some other implements that they could possibly use as a substitute method of torture. But ultimately, it meant elephants would never come to L.A. once it was implemented. So yesterday, I spent some time at the zoo with Billy and with Jewel and uh, Tina. Tina. They're intelligent animals. The staff there told us that they're intelligent animals. Very. Why do you need this sort of thing? Well, because they're, they're independent. They're and stubborn. without being able to break them with something really painful, mm -hmm. uh, it's hard to get them to do what they want them to do. And these and, are used at zoos and other places too, not just But, but not LA Zoo. We, not we made this a few were years not, ago. Back then. Not since back the court. Well, some years ago, the they court supposedly were. And our goal was not just to keep Ringling Brothers from visiting Los Angeles, which is all our motion would have done. Um, it was to get other cities to join suit, and we thought, and, and uh, San Francisco and Oakland uh, have done that since. We thought it would take maybe 15 years for enough cities to accumulate to, make, to disrupt their business and make them say, well, we just can't have elephants. Mm -hmm. But they saw the handwriting on the wall much more quickly than we expected, and they've, they've done what we really wanted to do, which is end this cruel treatment of elephants. But if, if Ringling Brothers stands by its schedule, there's going to be two years of opportunity, three years, to, to do that. Why not just do it now? Well, and, and even though we were all very proud of, of Councilman Coretz when we, they took the initiative to ban the bull hooks here, even there, um, it was delayed for three years, which was very, still very upsetting to a lot of people, only because you sit through that horrible video that, that they showed at City Council. People are weeping, and each council member stands up and calls it torture, and yet it was delayed, you know, three, so the implementation, even in right. Los but Angeles, But that was a complete misunderstanding is, is, is of, of the value of doing it, a complete misunderstanding well, I understand by, the by value, everybody who, but who was upset by question, it. But in answer to his question is, why not just do it now? Um, it, and, you know, and, and Ringling Brothers really put the roadmap out when they made their press announcement about banning that they're no longer going to use mm -hmm. uh, animals. Is that beca it's because some cities ban the bullhook. Cities like Pasadena, for example, have just banned circuses. There are other cities that have banned circuses with live animal acts, but other circuses. And so Ringling basically put the roadmap out for activists in saying that 
if every city and every state has different rules about what may or may not come with a circus mm -hmm. act, it becomes too difficult for them to plan their transport, to see where they can store the animals from one city to the next. And so they just decided, based on consumer attitude towards the circus, mm -hmm. to change it. There are still other animals in the circus you know, and zoos that we will need to address, but this was great news. And, and we should note, just in passing, uh, Circus Vargas, which comes to Southern California at least a couple of times every year, has not had animals as part of its real, honest to goodness, big top for a couple of years After now. After activists got all over them for animal cruelty. Whatever the cause yeah, may be, was... there are no animals there now. Right, and which I... Which is a good thing, no? Right, right. And, and Ringling Brothers was the major uh, remnant of, of that somewhat barbaric uh, activity. So mm -hmm. this is a big step in the right direction. And we kind of planned it this way. We just thought it would take so many more years than this. But uh, I guess it was already disruptive enough to them that they thought it was time. But it's consumer power. I mean, there you are, it, it, whether it's Ringling Brothers or SeaWorld or Circus Vargas or any but, of these do, things. Do you think that people, the audiences really care that much about how the animals are being treated? I think we, that we've, we've had many, many generations of people in this country who have tolerated that thing. Right. I think because most people didn't know what was going on behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. I think most people didn't understand what it was to train any animal to do something. There are even trainers now that use, you know, shock collars or punishment training versus, you know, reward and affection. So I think it just took a while for the public to get more aware of the behind the scenes, mm -hmm. behind the illusion, to feel that animals weren't here just to provide us entertainment. I mean, look what happened. SeaWorld stock plummeted right. again, uh, just based on consumer awareness. So I say, you know, we've got the power you know, one vote, one power, the power of not buying tickets, we can effectuate change, you know, with the help of an activist mm -hmm. council as well, we can certainly effectuate um, change. And, and I have to say, we, when we started this process, we didn't even realize how bad it was. We believed what the circus told us, which was basically they, they used the bull hook on them and other things initially, and then all they have to do is hold it up and the elephants remember. Yeah. Well, they do, but that's not how they do it. We, now that we know, and, when, when they're not visible, they still whack them just to keep them in line. And now that we know that, I think that was really the big step. The, the last time I went to a circus where there were animals, they had a lion act, and the lion tamer had uh, a whip. Are we taking any action there? Is any action necessary? Well, I, th I tend to be willing to go a step at a time to make things happen. Mm -hmm. And clearly, I think the best documented element of cruelty is the elephants. And so that's where we started. Um, at some point, I believe all circuses will have eliminated all wild animals. Mm -hmm. But a step at a time, and once, uh, once we've done this, we'll, we'll come back and look at other things. We'll, we'll look at uh, whether elephants should still be in the zoo. We'll look at uh, whether other wild animals should be visiting uh, Los Angeles in the circuses. Uh, but this is a big first step. Let's, as long as we've talked about animals and elephants in the zoo, We've got a piece here. Um, how much time do we have in this segment? Do we, we have two? Yeah, we have time. Let's take a look at this, uh, this story we did. We shot it actually a couple days ago at the zoo. My name is John Lewis, and I'm the uh, zoo director at the Los Angeles Zoo. We got this fabulous new exhibit, uh, and we have three elephants that live here uh, and are doing very well. We have Billy, our adult male. He's about 30 years old, and uh, two older girls, Tina and Jewel. One's about 48, and the other one's 50 years old. So they're doing very well. We put a lot of thought. We talk to people in the field about what would be important with this new habitat, because we know it's going to be here for a long time. And we want to help other zoos build on the sustainability of elephants in North America. I understand the concerns from folks, and we, we take those seriously. But uh, we feel like we have a good handle on these animals. Uh, someday, hopefully, we'll have some more animals here to socialize with the, the elephants that we have and continue the program. The public loves seeing the elephants. Um, a Harris survey about three years ago said that 95% of people say they uh, build a better appreciation of elephants when they see them in the zoo. That's critically important because today, 96 elephants every day in Africa are dying for their ivory. It's a major crisis. In fact, there's a, a new bill in the state legislature right now to address the ivory uh, purchasing and sale. So it's very critical. So we want people to see them when they see a, a report on your news show and says elephants are in crisis, they want to help. 
it's only because of a Los Angeles judge that we even have Billy and, uh, and his uh, lady friends there. And you were just talking now. Is it possible that we may lose them? Well, I think uh, this is an issue that we're going to look at. Uh, I think Billy has, has uh, many people feel, uh, always been in, in an unfortunate situation. A uh, small space, uh, no elephants to socialize with. I mean, now he is separated from two females. Uh, I still don't think he's in a very social situation. Mm -hmm. He's certainly crammed into a small space still when, when you look at the fact that elephants walk uh, many, many miles a day in the wild. Um, and there are those that think that he's uh, uh, somewhat mentally uh, uh, challenged because of his situation and it's time to uh, let him go to a sanctuary and live uh, a more normal life. Is that feasible? Oh, it's certainly feasible. We got Ruby the Elephant moved from the LA Zoo to Sanctuary. I mean, this really is a travesty. Um, this is over a $40 million exhibit that really didn't improve the life mm -hmm. of the elephant in it. And this judge, um, Billy's not here because of the, the judge. The judge has allowed, did not close down this brand new exhibit on condition that the elephants be exercised a certain amount of time today, that they till up the soil mm -hmm. um, Make it every on couple of hours. Um, and Mr. Lewis told me that they put ankle bracelets on here that measure how much they travel and five to eight miles per day. But that's right. not enough? But Well, no, because since they're in such an, a small space, um, the way the experts were testifying at court and because of how heavy elephants are, they're, and piping underneath the ground, they're compacting the soil as they walk around and around in one small space. And the exhibit appears to be larger than it used to, but it's really not. Um, Billy is segregated, so he has right. smaller space. Um, the other two elephants are exhibiting stereotypical behavior now, too. And there's all sorts of hot wire and gating preventing yeah. the animals yeah. from reaching the real trees for enrichment. So the elephants compound the soil, making it like concrete, mm -hmm. which cause most of the elephants in zoos die from foot problems, arthritic problems, really from standing on hard surfaces. Mm -hmm. So he, they should not be here. They, they should not be here. We're not going to be here much longer unless we take a break. Okay. So let's do that. We'll be right back.